Hello and welcome to the second tutorial video in our three-part tutorial series on how to use Roboticus Dynamixel SDK with MathWorks' MATLAB software. In this episode, we will be running the read-write MATLAB example using one port and one Dynamixel. Open the readwrite.m file by clicking on Browse for Folder and selecting the MATLAB folder located in the main Dynamixel SDK directory. In the current folder window, expand the Protocol 1.0 folder and double click on readwrite.m to access the source. The reason we're choosing Protocol 1.0 is because we're utilizing an MX28 Dynamixel for this demonstration. Remember that the MX series Dynamixels are governed by Communication Protocol 1.0. Please review the e-manual for more details about this. In the source code, confirm that the values under Control Table Address and Default Setting match your Dynamixels settings. In this example, I'm using an MX28, so I will not be changing the Control Table Address values. Additionally, the MX28 has an ID of 1 and a baud rate of 1 Mbps, so I will not be changing these values either. Please refer to Episode 2 of the Dynamixel SDK Quick Start Guide Tutorial Video Series for Hardware Setup Procedures. To check the USB to Dynamixel's COM port number, go to Windows Device Manager, expand the Ports COM and LPT tree, and search for USB serial port. As you can see, the USB to Dynamixel's COM port number is 8. So I will go back to the source code and change the value of device name to COM8. Now you are ready to run the example. Click Run in the Editor tab. The command window will let you know that you have successfully established a connection with Dynamixel. Keep your eyes on the blue tape on Dynamixel. If I press Enter, the Dynamixel moves from goal position 100 to goal position 4000 or vice versa and the program prints the present position values to the screen. Every time I press enter, it does the same thing. In the next episode, I'll show you how to run a read-write MATLAB example using two ports and two Dynamixels.